All right, so recently I've really been playing with SPX Foam. I'm always into like trying to learn new media and how it works. That way I can integrate it back into uh, my other hobbies. So SPX Foam is this pink insulation foam that you get at Lowe's Home Depot. It comes in big bricks and you can cut it using a Proxon table, which is another whole tutorial, but probably one I'm not going to do because there's a million of them, but there is the Proxon table, and then you can cut it down into smaller bits. That's not what this tutorial is about though. What I was looking for is a way to sculpt detail into it. Okay. Now you can use several different tools. You can use like exacto knives and you can try to get it. You can use ballpoint pens. Um, but not really getting the detail that I wanted. So I have this Burn Master. Okay. SPX foam is cut in the industry using heat. That's how they make the blocks. A wood burner puts out heat. But the problem with the wood burner is it's just too big, too harsh, too whatever. See? Now this is a, more of a professional wood burner. If you get those like wood burners there at like Home Depot, Lowe's or something like that, those are too big, too hot, you can't do it. This one has a I'll run a stat? Thermostat? How many? Yeah. A potentiometer, that's what I want to say. So it's got a potentiometer on it, so it allows me to turn it up and down. So if you want to sculpt in really good details, what I'm going to do is show you in this tutorial how to make a really fine tipped blade out of nichrome wire. And it comes in a whole bunch of different gauges. So it comes with these but you can make so many more. So this is such an invaluable tool. I didn't even notice how valuable it was until I started playing around with nichrome wire. Okay, so if I turn this up, I can make little tiny details or big thick ones. So I'm gonna turn that down. Now this is the 32nd gauge, but I have a 36 gauge too. You can get so fine details with this. Or you can go and gouge. If you're doing rocks. So if you're into miniature building, or you're just into carving with SPX foam, this is a great tool. So I'm going to show you how to make this. Alright, we're going to start out by making something that looks like this. This is a wood burning tip that comes with the Burn Master, but we're going to make a smaller version of it. You're going to need some tubes, so the first tube is 3 32nd. And it's put out by KS Engineering, but you can also get this stuff from Precision Metals, anywhere that you get a hardware store, you know, the really good mom paw versions of them, they have this stuff. Uh, the other one is 2 16th, something like that? Or no, wait, two thirty seconds. So the two thirty second one is really small. Yeah. So now we uh, learn how to cut this stuff. I would suggest getting a very new X Acto blade. And I use a number two blade for this. 
what you do, you need to cut two one inch ones. This one I need to cut yet. I've already marked it one inch. And this is the three thirty second one. And what you do is you just do one of these. Rotate. Don't press too hard because it'll launch the piece to God only knows where and you'll never find it. Just like that. All right, so you're gonna need two 332nd pieces and two two 32nd pieces. Nichrome wire, okay? This comes in very many ages and I would suggest getting the sample pack on Amazon. I'll put a link below from Wiremaster Supply. Because you can make literally billions of these <laughs> just with this one pack. Um, so you'll never run out of nichrome wire ever again. Not that you'll ever use that much. But I already made a 36 gauge one, so I'm going to take the opportunity to make a new one 32 gauge. Now, it doubles because you put a twist at the end. So it's not going to be 32 gauge. It's going to be. Yeah, not sure what that is after you twist it. Really small. So, let's start out with this. twist. Okay, first thing is you take the end of the wire and you go like this and you twist it. Just like that. World's smallest twist. Then Maybe about. Let's make it about an inch of loop. Don't have to be accurate with this. As I said, you can make hundreds and thousands of variations of this, so. All right, now I'm going to cut it right about here. Fold that one back. And make a twisty loop in the other end. Cool. So effectively you have this wire with two loops in it. Now trim off. little straggler piece. See how it's got the loop coming off that little piece right there. We're going to trim that off and do the same on the other side. Cool. Now you're going to trim off the loop. And trim this loop off. So effectively, we've doubled the size of the wire there, doubled the size of the wire there. Cool. All right, with your tubes cut, you have to kind of hollow them out. So, go like that, because some of the burr got inside of them. So make sure you do all four of them.
Then, you have to get, I use a nail file. They work out really good. And you just go like that, and that gets rid of all the burrs on the outside of the pipe. Just rotate it as you're sanding. Little ones are a pain, but you only have to sand one side of them. So effectively, this piece should fit inside this piece. Just like that. Cool. Alright. Alright, next we're going to take the night chrome wire and then Put it in here. This little tube, the smallest one. And then we're going to crimp only the top using a pair of pliers. So it looks like that. And then we're going to do the other side too, just like that. Here's nice little pair of nunchucks. Okay, then we're going to put it in this pipe. And then we're going to crimp that one effectively making this. And we're going to do that to the other side too. Alright, now we have a better pair of nunchucks. I'm just going to check to make sure there's should be able to pull it, should be able to be okay. This feels a little loose right here, so I'm going to re-clamp that one. Check the sturdiness, good, good. All right, then you put the two dome chucks together. And again, let's say I keep it like this. I could, and I could use it as a scoop if I wanted to, okay? so many variations. I want something that makes detail. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one of these. And now how far that you put these together Again, variation. I'm going to maybe do a couple more twists here. And you don't want to twist it too much to the point where it breaks. Okay. But my chrome wire is very sturdy. Okay, I'm just going to trim that little bit. And now what I want to do is just cut it right here. Nice. So now I have a very super detailed piece that fits in the burn master. Just loosen the two screws. Take the old one out. Put the new pair of nunchucks in. 
tighten this down. Now we're ready to try it out. All right, so when you turn this on, I would turn it on very low, just to start out, because every wire is different. Okay, turn it on. I don't see it red, so that's good. And right now, I can make little tiny details if I wanted to. Very cool. But if I wanted to, let's say, cut into it, I can do that too for wood grain. Now if I wanted to, let's say, use the edge here, I could scoop. Points. Now, when using this, I will warn you, SPX foam does smoke. The smoke is not good for you, okay? Do not breathe it in. Have a little fan, it blows it that way. Use it in a very well ventilated area. Maybe a hood, so you can work underneath that hood. So for this demonstration, I'm not gonna keep burning this because I'm not underneath my hood. But, that's how you modify a burn master in order to use it for SPX foam. And if you're into sculpting with this stuff like miniatures, buildings for miniatures, all that good stuff, this is a great way to add detail to it. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial.